So the much awaited world debut of the I-20 taking place in India, that in itself is pretty significant for our industry that it's happening here before it happens even at the Paris Motor Show. But let's talk about the car itself. It's ample size, it's a good enough replacement just visually speaking uh, to the first generation I-20. It is the 2.0 edition of the Fluidic Sculpture that you're seeing on the car. Of course, we'll have more details on this car for you on the program next week when Bala actually drives the car for you. But at first uh, glance, it seems like uh, Hyundai is once again going all out to simply impress and captivate the buyer's attention. Uh, starting at fairly attractive prices, typically though the better loaded and better feature ridden uh, models and variants are priced a little bit higher. The tagline of the car, uncompromise. Well, I could of course be a stickler for grammar there, but uh, the part that gets me, there is a huge compromise when it comes to safety because dual passenger and driver side airbags are only standard on the top end Asta version. ABS and a single driver airbag also only begins from the sports variant. So you've got uh, both the Era and the Magna, which don't carry any of that safety equipment. And I'm pretty disappointed by that because you're calling this a global debut. It does need to live up on all fronts. It's a really roomy cabin. You've got good leg room at the back. The seats have been well designed as well. Good support and comfortable, I'm guessing, on long journeys. We'll have to wait and see about that. The layout of the dash, etc. again, it is that Fluidic 2.0 on the interior as well that you're starting to see. So it's a slightly driver-orientated uh, or oriented cabin. And what you're seeing also is a nicer uh, level of plastics, good use of colors, uh, pretty pleasant cabin overall. There are, of course, some features that are new. We'll talk about that on our review next week.